So I was looking online uh, today for the newsstand of this issue. Wanted to get some more. I mean, I got 11 at CGC right now. But as you know, I haven't had luck with the grading on this book. A uh, bunch of 9.2s. Some of them didn't even make the 9.2s. And to my surprise, I see that the prices on the newsstands are going through the roof on this book. So I went to completed items, and I found this. I actually found two of them. Two 9.8s that sold. This one sold on September 17th, which was three days ago. That's how much it sold for. Which surprised the heck out of me. Because that's never been like that. Then I go over. I check some more out. The next day, I guess some seller must have not been paying attention. Now the other one was... The other one was an auction. Let me go back to that one. Other one was an auction, and there were 31 bids. So it's not like somebody's trying to uh, hike up this price. There's a reason why this must be moving. I don't know what the reason is, but this one, the seller put it out as a buy it now best offer, and this ended up being a best offer. So I'm assuming that this probably sold for a thousand. Because he must have took a best offer. But that's not paying attention to the market. Because when it sells for over 1200 And then you put for a best offer. You probably take a 1000 for it. You're just not doing your homework. Uh, the other thing is. So I look recently. The 20th. A 9.2 sold for best offer. 299 you would think it probably sold for 250 or above and that is way high i mean i've sold oh my god i've sold 9.2s for 50 bucks uh, uh, feel awful i'm glad I, I you know i got offers for the for the new stands that i have but I already knew that these these prices, um, the prices they were going for, were way too low. So I um, I just decided to hold them. So look at this one. This is a best offer raw. One twenty, and then you always have these sellers that aren't paying attention and still selling for the old prices, like this guy. Selling it for thirty five ninety nine. He probably thinks that he's getting a deal there selling it at thirty five ninety nine. well there was a raw right there that sold for best offer 200 these books are starting to move and these are sales from yesterday today today keep in mind that the um these books newsstands uh, you know for every 10 or 20 directs, you're going to see one newsstand. If you don't believe it, just count them. Count them. Um, I estimated 9%, 9.8%, I think, is was my estimate when I did the video, the original video on these. Um, it's probably less than that if you, if you start counting them. Now, there's a ton of these issues printed. But because of the percentile, I think that's why these are are going up. And the fact that these do not come in the best shape because of the card stock and because of the fact that they were newsstands and sitting on newsstands. You know, it's it's um, even the nine fours I think on these and nine twos. Let, let me the nine twos are commanding these kind of prices. That's that's for a book that hasn't even really seen a, a high yet. Uh, because this character hasn't even shown up anywhere. I mean, as of late anyway. 
Now, here's the sellers that aren't paying attention. $26, they put it as buy it now, and they're selling like right away. I wish I could find these now, but I can't. Now, luckily for me, now that's Mile High that did that. And you know they hate letting go of their comics. Because I've tried buying multiple books from uh, Mile High Comics, like on their site. Like buying like 10 or 20 books at a time then they send me an email oh sorry we can't we can't fill that order we'll send you like four like what i mean they, they, it's on your it's on your site dude like they have um they have regret on selling the books so you know they just got got for 2160 from that because they they're not paying attention to the market you know um Anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. All right, so the last... Oh, you know what? I'll show that for a second. But these are... These are the last ones that I sent. And, and I sold a couple. I sold a couple that I'm regretting selling now. Because, you know what? Good for those guys that got those deals. But um, that was a 9-4 newsstand... And then the rest were nine twos, man. Nine twos. But now that they're starting to starting to take off, I might be thinking of um, sending these in because remember I didn't get these pressed. And maybe having CGC break them, bust them, and maybe I can uh, see stuff like this is why. I got to really look at them to see if I should because that right there may warrant a 94 but maybe not a 96 I think that would still be a 94 with a press but these books they tend to have uh tend to be dirty in the back like that and if they can clean them and I think they can see like that that can be a nine four and nine four. I mean, I've seen if if you're looking at um, at current auctions on those, even the nine fours are are starting to go pretty. I mean, the nine point are starting to go pretty high in newsstand. Uh, but anyway, there, there's a couple here that look really good. That nine four looks to me like it can. It might be able to reach a 9.6. This 9.2 looks really good, too. This book has evaded me in a 9.8. I got 11 in there right now. See that? That's the kind of stuff that you're going to see on this book quite a lot. The 9.8 is just gotten out of my reach. And that's what I was thinking when I because I, I go in there and look for nine eights to see if anybody has has listed a nine eight and I was looking maybe a nine eight at five hundred and I would have probably pulled the trigger. See that right there? They can clean that really, really good. CCS can clean that. This could be at least a nine four. Might even go to a nine six if that can be cleaned because that that right there is part of that book, man. I don't care what anybody says. That that right there should not detract from the book, in my opinion. Because you see that in these books, like quite a lot, pretty much like in the three in the in the amazing three sixty ones, how you see like the little rippling effect on the um, on the bottom, you know. But some of these, I'm gonna send them back. Yeah, it's going to be like $33 for them to press them. See, this, that stuff right there, man. That's the kind of stuff that makes you think like, man, should I or shouldn't I? But a 9.4 is starting to look like it might be worth it to spend that extra 30 bucks, $33 to get these done. And this one, this one's Definitely, I think, going to go out. Mm. 
Yep, I think this one's gonna go out. If you get these, make sure that you have the poster. There's a poster inside. Some people took those posters out. And without that poster, that's an incomplete book. And that's probably why you don't see those books out there a lot. Mm, okay. Uh, bu -bu -bu. That video got taken down. I, I made a video on this. This was part of the grill project. Um, but it was taken down because I try to be funny and I used the song you know and I kept getting messages um, saying that I was doing a copyright or something I was just listening to it I'm not looking to make money out of this stuff um, I don't even have too many listeners to begin with but anyway this is part of the grail project guys that was the next book in the grail project and um, this uh company right here comic traders dot ca they still have it it was an unknown comics exclusive and they sold out in their site but i think these people must be affiliated with them and they still have it i don't know what the pr production is for them but um I'm assuming I'm gonna assume that it's probably a thousand on the Virgin and three thousand on the trade um, because because they sold out in in the regular site. So, all right. So some books came in, and as moderns tend to do, they've dropped in price already. So I'm gonna need nine eights on these. These are beautiful books. All eight books that came in are gorgeous. Bought four of these. And you guys have seen this before. All four of these look like they can be 9 eights, And I'm hoping that they are going to be 9 eights Because I'm going to need them to be 9 eights To turn a profit on. Because the raws are going for less than what I paid for them. So, yeah, sometimes I probably pull the trigger a little too quickly on the moderns. Like, I pulled the trigger, even though I came out with a video for uh, the Dark Knights, uh, the first Robin King, right? I, I pulled the trigger on it, and I pulled the trigger on it kind of kind of high, actually. I was talking about, you know, wait for it to drop to 150 before you pull the trigger, but I pulled the trigger at uh in the 200 range and now i'm in a position where i'm gonna you know i'm gonna i'm gonna wait for them which is what i was gonna do anyway which is the reason why i didn't put them in the grail project i was gonna wait for them anyway but anyway these right here if i would have waited i would have gotten them now i could have gotten 9.8s now for less than 300 you know but as it is now i gotta wait so here are the books oh you know what they sent them to me like backwards like that but these are four of them two three four these are in the grail project i think these are going to be hot books i think once they come in in, in the nine eights if i need at least three of these in nine eights at least three and the other book that came in is this book this is not I checked them already it's not the double cover this is the one in 100 they all four of these also look like they can be nine eights and this book has also dropped because it's not the double cover this is still though a one in 100 when all is said and done this is a one in 100 first full appearance uh, of codex so um i think i only put two of these in the grill project 
and then two of these are going to be mine of course those i'm gonna i'm gonna hold um it's a good, great thing about comics is you can hold so i can't wait for those and of course i have some more of the new stands in raw that i'm going to sell this was a reject i'm going to have them press it clean it and grade it this will not be a 9.8 but looking for nine fours that's really what i'm looking for i'm looking for nine fours and hopefully oh man i don't want to jinx myself i the last time i sent um those eight i thought three of them were 9.8 candidates the highest one was a nine four that'll tell you where this book is why this book is is going for that much in a 9.8 uh, and and these books, all of these uh, newsstands, it's not like I bought them all at once, you know. I've been buying these up for you know for a couple years, really. I've been buying these 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 things up, and when I whenever I see them in good condition, you know, when where I perceive like to be in in like nine point four in high condition, I pull the trigger, you know. Uh, but it's it's. Um, it's a process of it's a long process really of like just doing uh doing your homework on it and then now hopefully hopefully now we can um look in, and 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 um look to see if we can do uh uh do have profits on these so check these out these are 9.6. This is asking price. That doesn't mean that it's going to sell for that. But it can sell for 500 or even 600 if somebody does a best offer. This is bids at nine, nine bids right now, 1650 with four days left. This is the one that's starting to get me right there. See, 9.0? Nine bids already for 50 bucks. That's pretty that's pretty high for a 9.0. And then here's a 9.4 they're asking 449 where I was selling these man for like 50 to 70. Dollars. No, no, no. Uh 70 dollars I was selling the 9.4s. I was selling the 9.4s for 70 and then I was using that money to buy more, right? Um but I, I still haven't like I said I still haven't gotten my my nine eight and now if i don't get the nine eight in 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 this next batch in these next batches um i don't know that i'm gonna go after it over a thousand dollars i might but ugh, i mean i want it i want it badly but man should i should i press pull the trigger on it pull the trigger on it i'm not sure but anyway just wanted to show you guys that so i have an idea for the next grill project um but it's probably not going to be a grill project it's probably going to i'm going to call it something different like a spec project where uh i'm just going to put pick um different books probably cheaper books than what we're um we're doing right now um and, and and hold them for a long time like two years be like two year holds and i'll just let you guys know what i'm buying and then we'll see where those books are heading you know um but anyway uh the next books coming from cgc are getting graded right now so they should be in the mail this coming week they should be getting here by no more than two weeks in my opinion and those are going to have a ton of books from the girl project so we're going to start selling them and yeah so it's going to get real soon all right good night guys